Hello everyone, Sharif Abouzid here with a new video and today I want to show you how you can install and activate the Astra WordPress theme and how you can quickly launch your WordPress website using one of their ready-made starter templates. So without any delay, let me show you how can you quickly do this. So to install the WordPress, the Astra WordPress theme, you need to go to appearance and then click themes and then we need to click add new. And here we can just search for the Astra theme here, but because this is a very popular theme, you'll find it under the popular tab of the themes, which is this theme here. So let's click install to install the theme. And then we need to click activate to have this theme activated. So let's click activate to activate the theme. And once the theme has been activated, we'll be asked to install one of the Astra starter templates, which is installed by another plugin. As you can see now, we can get started using one of their ready-made templates. So let's click install starter templates. If you can't find this message, you need to go to plugins and then click add new. And here in the search plugins bar, you need to search for starter templates, which, which will show you the same plugin that we are going to install. So let's click install starter templates. And now it's being activating to install all of their starter templates. And now let's give this a second. So now the plugin has been installed. Now we are being asked to choose which page builder that we like to use to design our uh, website page. Now, a page builder is a sort of or a type of a plugin that you install and activate to design all of your sections. This will make it much easier for you to design all of your website sections without the need to know how you can actually code or program websites. There are many popular ones that out there. Some of them are, uh, one of them is Elementor and Beaver Builder, but I like to use the default block editor of WordPress because it makes it makes my website loads faster and also makes the maintenance of my website much easier. So let's choose the block editor. Now, uh, the, uh, now we can choose which website that we like or which website template actually we can or we need to install. As you can see, there are many types of websites we can sort. We can sort this if you like to use food blog we can just choose this to uh, install one of their uh, food blogs if you like to install a personal site we can just choose a photographer of food site for example we can make any we can choose only any of these starter templates but usually and also you can as you can see there are um, ready-made templates marked as premium and these ready-made templates to install one of these you need to have you need to buy the astra pro uh, extension which will give you more options to design your websites and also access to all of these premium ready-made templates i'll be leaving down below my Astra, uh, Astra pro affiliate link if you like to use it to buy any of these or to install any of these premium templates but let me now search for a free one so let's search for a free one i can see some of these here we have this um, beautiful looking free ready-made templates i like to install this one so let's click uh, to install any of these uh, ready-made templates you need just to click install you just need to select it actually and now we are uh, being asked if you like to upload our logo you can use you can just upload your logo here and also you can once you upload it you can choose the logo width from this section or from this option here so let's click um, skip and continue and now we can actually change the colors and fonts of our website so these are the default colors of this template we can choose any of these templates to be applied or any of these colors to be applied inside our uh, wordpress template but i like to use the default ones also we can change the fonts from here but we can do all of this at a later stage so let's click continue and now we can just submit uh, our options and to start building our website and let's give this a few seconds to be installed so it makes i think it takes like two maybe one or two minutes to install all of your themes plugins forms and content of your website so let's give this a second to be installed and activated now it's importing like 31 percent 36 90 percent i think we haven't spent one minute to install this starter templates which help us a lot to quickly launch our WordPress website. As you can see, this is a success message saying, congratulations, your website is ready. So let's, in just 24 seconds, let's view with the websites and see how it looks like now. So this is how our website looks like. And this looks beautiful. If you like to, you can actually change everything in this website. So let's say that you like to change 
the content of one of these pages let's go to the company page for example let's open this company page if you like to pick any changes to this page you need just to open it from here and let's click edit page to open the page and access all of the content inside this page and we can change the uh, wording the text here we can change the images we can change the numbers of these numbers we can change everything so let's go back to the edit page uh, editor let's give it a second to be opened and now the page has opened now to change any text you need to know the structure of the page itself so, so to know how many sections are inside this page you need to click here you'll find that these are all the containers inside this section so if to access all any you know, of these containers to change any text you just need to click to highlight it and now you can change this text you can change it to whatever to change this text to whatever you want you can make any changes if you like to change the image you just click here to select the image and then you need to click here to change the image so let's click here and let's go to our media library and we can choose any of these images and also we can actually upload any of our images by going to upload files we can upload any of the files in this case if you like to make any changes to the fonts this is how actually any page builder works one of any popular page builder so make sure that you are choosing the right container as, as I mentioned, these are the containers inside this page. If you choose any of these uh, containers, you will have access to some of these tabs. So these tabs are this. You can use these tabs to change your fonts, colors, images, anything inside this container. So let's say that you want to change the background of this container. Make sure that you are choosing the container and let's go to the style and let's go to the um, background color and we can change the background to be something like this if you like to change it. To be something like this but i just like to leave it like default if you want to change the um this number you just highlight it and let's make this like 300 and let's make sure this let's make this from here actually it's change it from the general tab so let's make this like 310 for example so let's start from here again you can make all of these changes inside these pages if you like to make this change to this logo image you can just change it from here if you want to add an overlay you can just change it from here if you like to change it to have an overlay you can make all of the changes inside these tabs so let's open another container let's open this container and as you can see and by the way usually the container is uh, the one that is is the um the layout that is given to you so for example you can have one container with two columns three columns five columns up to i think six columns here to know how many columns are your container have you need to choose the container so if we choose this container you will find that we have two we have a one parent container and two child containers and these containers are let's say these are your columns so if we choose this we open this we have another container that has our um, heading and also our paragraph as well you can if you like to add something new maybe you need to add a new section for this page and let's start by removing something maybe you need to remove this section if you like to remove it you need to choose it click here delete and now this part has been deleted if you like to delete this one click here let's choose this one actually so let's choose it so let's choose this click here and delete now if you want to add something inside this page make sure that you're using one of these containers and then, then click add after and click here and add a container by clicking here now we can choose the layout of the container which went if you want to make this one column two columns three columns let's say that we need to make this like three columns here and then if you like to add like an info box you can just click here search for info box or you can just click here add the info box so let's drag the info box and add it here this is an info box we can make changes to this if you like to uh, add a button you just click here click a button and now we can add our buttons here and all of this by dragging and drop any sections inside this page now, so now if you want to create a new page this can easily be done by done by going to your wordpress dashboard so let's go to our wordpress dashboard and let's click pages and let's click add new and let's say that we call this page like services page so let's call this services 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 and now we can start adding the content inside this page and by the way 
the astral theme comes with what's called template gets so let's click template gets here you'll find some uh, complete pages you can actually install very quickly uh, to create a new page oh, and also when we go to patterns you'll have access to all of these sections that you can just download to start creating your own uh, website pages now uh, so this is how easily you can create a new page if you want to add this page to your um, to your menu you can easily do this by going to your wordpress dashboard so let's just click publish to save this page of course you need to add some content here let's go to the wordpress dashboard to add this page to our menu to add this page to your menu you need to go to appearance and then click menus and then you will find this is the menu that is currently used just click here to select the page and let's click add to menu and let's click save menu and now when we go to our whips to visit our website you'll find now the service page should be has been added so now we need to let's go to menu again it has been installed let's choose to make this like a, our primary menu let's click uh, save changes you know what i have make some mistake here because i know that this is not the primary menu i need to search for another menu so let's choose this menu this is there are multiple menus installed in this template or with this template so make sure that you are using the right menu so let's choose this menu let's click select let's leave this and now this is the menu that is shown inside our website header so now we need to add our service page here let's choose it and let's add to menu and if you want to change the position of the page we just change it from here to make it like here and let's click save uh, save menu and now let's go back to our page to, and let's click here you'll find the services page has been added so this is how you can create a new page this is how you can install the theme how you can install one of the starter templates and again how you can make changes inside this starter template content now maybe you need to make changes to the header of the page itself you can easily do this by going again to your wordpress dashboard click appearance and then click customize and the Astra theme will give us a very powerful header builder that makes it much easier for us to change our header sections and templates. So to make customization or to customize all of the headers, the headers of your Astra theme, make sure that you go to the header builder. And as you can see here, we have three rows for the header, the, the top row, the above header row, and the primary header, and also the below header. As you can, this template is using only the primary header. If you choose this here, you can add some sections. If you like to remove this button, you can just remove it from here. If you like to add it again, you just need to click here and add the button again, and you'll find it here. You can just make, if you like to make changes to this header, to this button, you just make sure you're choosing it from here, or you can just actually, actually click this edit button and you can change the color, uh, the, um, the numbers here let's make this like this you'll find the numbers has been added maybe you need to add like some sort of like ask or request a consultation we can just change the text here let's say request consultation consultation let's fix the spelling error here um i make i make this worse so it's consultation that's it we can add our link here for our request a consultation form so this is how you can actually change your header if you like to change anything if you like to change the logo make sure you are choosing the logo here you can upload your logo from here you can just change the width of the logo from this part as well if you like to change the menu or change its color make sure that you're choosing it and under design you'll have all the all the options to change the color if you like to change the background color of the menu you can change the text links from here can make change the font if you like to just click here and you'll find access you can just change the font size of the menu from here this looks very bad so let's make this the default and you can make all of these changes and the same applies in the header part if you like to change the the footer sorry go to the footer this is the footer if you like to change it make sure that you're choosing it or you can just go to the customizer again and let's go to the footer the footer builder and here you can make changes to all of this so if you would like to change the contact information you just click here you can change the contact information let's go to the widgets you just, then you need you can actually change the widgets from this part 
Now, if you want to change the copyrights, maybe you, need to, you are changing your company name. Let's choose the copyrights. Let's choose it from here. Let's go to the uh, this part and let's add our let's add our company name. So let's copyrights at company name, and you can add your company name here, which will show under this page here so we have covered by now let's of course let's uh, not forget to click publish and let's click this to exit this part up to now we have covered how we can add a, the Esther theme how we can install one of their starter templates how we can create a new page and also we how we can change the header and footer make sure that you go through the customizer because it shows you many options that you can change for example you can change your fonts colors from the customizer itself so to change the fonts for the customizer make sure that you go you go to appearance and then click customize and here again you will go back to our customizer settings we have used this to change our header and footer parts but still we can if we go to our global if you go to the global settings you'll find you can change the table from here you can use one of the uh, templates or presets if we change this here, we'll find all the uh, typography has been changed. If we go to this part, you'll find another uh, part here. I mean, another font is used here. You can change all of your heading one fonts from this part. Now, for the um, for the colors, you can just go here. You can change, you can make all of the changes to these colors. Let's click here. If you like to change this to be something like red, you can change it from here. You'll find all the reds has been, uh, all parts that has this old color has been um, change it into a new color if you choose this one you can choose this one to be red you'll find out this parts has been changed as well so uh, you can change your uh, color palette from here maybe you are asking yourself but how if you like to add a new block section inside your page this can be easily done if you like to add a new uh, block section uh, if you would like to add an, a block part or a blog article for your section you can just click posts and click add new to add a new post so let's call this like post number one so let's call this post number one if you like to add any content so let's let me quickly get some content here so let's go to lipsum lipsum and let's copy some content you just um let's copy this part here again let's copy this and let's add it inside our content here can do the same if you are using uh, if you are copying your content from uh, google docs or a word file as well so this is the content if you like to add an image inside the content you need to click this plus button search for an image and this is the image you just drag and drop it here and you need can go to your media library and you can choose you can choose any of these images so let's choose this image now the image has been added can make this center aligned or full, full width so we can make this center aligned from here make this like full width from here you can do whatever you want if you like i mean you can add any um, uh, widgets inside this page so also we need to have our uh, featured image so let's add a featured image for this text so let's go to post and let's add a featured image so let's go here choose a featured image so let's choose this featured image here let's click set feature of course you can add multiple uh, posts so let's go here and let's save this and let's view the post so now this is our post right here you can make changes to how does your posts will look like and you can do this by going to the customizer and here you can make changes to how do you want your blog posts to look like so let's go to blog let's go to single post and here we can choose the layout of our posts if you like to make this like narrow you can make this narrow width so so it looks like like this if you like to make this normal that's fine if you like to make this boxed so the content is boxed so choose this now the content of this website will be boxed in a certain width of the page if you like to have a sidebar you can just choose it from here You'll find a new sidebar added in this page but of course you need to add some content to this sidebar i like to um, remove so uh, the sidebar i like to make this for the sidebar i like to make this uh, um, not no sidebar so i just make it from here and again you can make changes to the design if you go to the uh, design you can make some changes here 
if you make changes to the site title you can just go here you can change the site title from here if you don't like to um, show the feature the image here you can just click here to hide it now the image will hide so now the image has been hidden but i like to have like a banner layout so it will look like something like this and again you can make any changes in here now if you like to have a new page added as your blog archive page you can easily do this by let's click publish first so we have our uh, first blog post here we need first to uh, create a new page and call this like a blog page so let's go here dashboard and let's click pages and let's click add new and let's give this page like a blog blog page and let's click publish publish again and now let's view the page so let's view the page this page should contain all of our posts but as you can see the page doesn't show any of our posts because we first need to set this page to show all of our recent posts and you can easily do this by going to our uh, wordpress dashboard so let's go back let's go back to our wordpress dashboard here and let's go to um, i think settings and let's go to reading and here we need to choose the home page as a home page and for the posts page let's choose the blog page and let's click save changes and let's go to our pages here let's click refresh you'll find the first post has been added inside this page again you can design after you are uh, after you add many posts you can change the design of this blog page to whatever you want once inside the customizer itself so this is how easy you can install and activate the astra wordpress theme how you can install one of the ready-made templates and how you can change the, the header the footer how you can add images pages how you can add a new blog post and how you can add a, a blog archive page for your own wordpress website by the way if you like to add the blog page to this menu again you need to go to your appearance click here click menus and if you like to add it you just make sure that you're choosing the right menu and let's choose let's view all search this is our post page so let's add it here and let's add it from here and let's remove this service page here and let's click save and if you go to our website now and let's click refresh you'll find the blog page has been added in this header of the website so hopefully you find this video useful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos every single week three times per week now thank you so much and see you in the next video bye for now